I'm here at Ignite in 2016 in Atlanta, and this is like a repeat of our s our talk from Ignite 2015, right? I hope not. <laughs> This is, this is a reunion, <laughs> not a repeat, because then that means that nothing has changed. <laughs> it has changed a lot. Mark, you yeah. are not an MVP anymore. You are now in, at Microsoft in the yes. CAT team, right? Yes, that is correct. So, uh, leaving the MVP program, that was a hard decision that I had to make, but the trade-off was worth it. So, I joined the, the ECG CAT team, so that's the customer architecture and technologies team within Microsoft. Uh, so I'm now part of engineering, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, but you still do great work, uh, especially um, with Azure Stack, Azure, Azure Stack. You, you're working on something called ARM, and you advised me last year to learn ARM, at least. You are, you are bugging me about learning ARM yeah. for quite two years now, I would presume. Yes. I must and, con- and does it have an effect? <laughs> I sleep not so well at night. Oh. <laughs> I, I have oh. nightmares. But um, I didn't have had the time yet to to learn ARM, and it, it is quite it was quite hard. But I heard you you did something about it, right? Well, so let me start with this. Let me explain why it's so important. Um, when we look at Azure Stack, like running data uh, Azure services in your own data center, when we look at Azure, what's the key differentiator between your Azure Stack environment and the one of your neighbor? It's the same Azure Stack. Yeah. So you add value by adding your templates and your artifacts on top of that platform. And that's why it's so super important to start learning this language. And once you make that investment, it's going to be so worthwhile because you can reuse it across those different environments. Now, what's really important is that when you look at the, um, uh, the, the templates themselves and the language that you learn, it's essentially like you going on a holiday uh, and you go to a country where you don't understand the language. Okay, yeah, right. Now, how are you going to order food? You're going to stand there at the bakery, pointing at stuff, holding up your fingers, and then when it comes to paying, you're probably going to open up your wallet and just hand it over, like pick whatever you want. Okay. That's kind of the problem that I see a lot with ARM templates. Because in the end, your application is not going to be very uh, solid when it runs in production if you don't understand and speak that language. Yeah. So learning a new language, just like learning a new language when you go on a holiday, it's complicated. But it helps you with your groceries. Okay. Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> now, what we did is to help you a bit more is we started working on um, documentation to ease the pain a bit. Okay. So what we've done, we created a white paper, which is called Getting Started with ARM, and you can find it on aka.ms forward slash getting started with ARM. Nice. And that helps you with the basic principles to start learning that language. And there's much more to it, but it helps you at least for that initial hump to get over. And I also know you helped a little bit with uh, um, examples that are GitHub, right? Yes, yeah, so um, for uh, anyone that's not familiar with GitHub, GitHub is a um, free um, open source website uh, which allows you to store files. So if you go to github.com, there are a lot of files stored there on different application yeah. topics. Uh, and as Microsoft, what we've done, we started an initiative to share applications uh, based on ARM templates as an example. Now, over time, a lot of people have contributed to that repository, as, as we call that in Azure, and that repository is the Azure Quick Start Templates repository. And there are now over 400 applications that you can run in your production and that you can just download for free from the Internet. Now, it's going to be useful to still learn that language because if you want to tweak it a bit, yeah. maybe make some changes that will uh, match it more to the requirements that you have for your environment, you need to know what you're doing. So if you have the combination of that ARM document, the white paper, that you'll learn the basics of the language and you have the examples, you're good to go. So I know you have a session tomorrow. Yes. We are Today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. You will have a session about, uh, you will give us a name and I will include it in the video so our viewers find it. Okay. There you will talk 45 minutes or even more about this stuff, right? 
Yeah, so it's 75 minutes. Oh, that's uh, great. Yes, so I hope to see you there because you can actually start learning as your resource manager. Uh, but the uh, title of the session is Learn about the community of ARM templates for Azure Stack. And that includes Azure as well because these templates are consistent across cloud. Uh, and what we will actually do in that session that I will do together with Ricardo Mendes, uh, he's a PM on the Azure Stack team, we will cover the white paper A to Z. So we'll go through the same examples, uh, so you can watch the recording on what we're doing. We can take the white paper and do the same thing yourself. We'll also look at GitHub. How does GitHub work? What are the terminologies that we see over there? Just to give you a head start on the basic principles. And the last thing that we'll do in that session is look at a more advanced template mechanism uh, that you can actually use in production. So one question uh, that I uh, have is uh, for me to start with ARM templates. I need some tooling that helps me uh, to get around it. Yep. Your white paper would be great, I assume, but is I think there's some tooling from Microsoft I can use with maybe, uh, how you call it, um, uh, like in PowerShell Easy, you have these uh, commandlets that are filled out automatically. I, I miss the word in the moment, but IntelliSense, yep. thank you very much. Uh, so. Is there something similar uh, for ARM templates? Yeah, so there's even a choice. So you are correct. It is specified in the ARM, in the ARM white paper. We will go cover all the tools that are available, what the benefits are, and why you would pick one tool over another. So it's a freedom of choice, if you will. Uh, but there are two tools specifically that Microsoft provides which are interesting to look at. Okay. One is Visual Studio. Now, I understand, and um, probably we had that same conversation yeah, last year. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a tool for a developer. Yeah. And no, no, to be honest, it, seem so. it, is, a it is a tool for the developer, but it's made user-friendly for ARM templates for the IT Pro. Okay. Now, what if you run uh, your configuration on Mac or on Linux? Mm -hmm. There is a tool which is called Visual Studio Code, mm -hmm. which is very lightweight, that's one. It's free. That's also very interesting, that's two. And it has the same IntelliSense capabilities as Visual Studio has. So maybe that's an easier starting point, but if you ask me, creating, so authoring ARM templates, uh, deploying them, and troubleshooting them can be do done through Visual Studio in a single UI. So my uh, weapon of choice is definitely Visual Studio. And there are even free editions of it that where you can include the ARM uh, template stuff. I think the community edition is maybe also capable of ARM templates with a little download, or? Yes. Uh, but you will code is free. Yes, code is free, and the community has some licensing restrictions around it uh, when you use it in the enterprise. Uh, but if you just want to get started at home, you can use the community edition. That is totally free. Okay. Uh, the software development kit allows you to uh, add those UI elements yeah. to it for uh, ARM templates. Um, uh, and it also provides you that intelligence. I actually use it in my demo tomorrow, the community edition, to um, uh, show you all the tooling capabilities that Visual Studio has for ARM templates. Okay, I will be in your session tomorrow, and maybe we do a little bit, little follow-up, uh, follow interview after your session. Yeah. So let's agree on one thing here. Yep. We're not going to stand here next year and have the same conversation. <laughs> you will have at least learned the basics of ARM, and you have deployed your first ARM template. Can we agree on that? We can agree on okay, that. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for the interview. Bye.